expression results using Outrec2. In today's tutorial, I'll show you how to put your regression results into either an Excel or a tech file upon your wish. So you can very readily convert your regressions to a format that's easy for you to edit and put in your project or research paper. So let's hop over to our usual auto file. Here I run a pre-made piece of code to show you how to export your results. So there are a couple of things that go into this. And we start at the top. In order to install the outdrag command, you need to use a user-made package. In order to access these, you either use the edo path or you use ssc install. We can search the internet for packages and install the command of name outrec2 and replace the thing because I already have it and I want to make sure it's up to date so I force it to change itself again. Then I open up the data set and set my CD to the outputs file, which is the part where I have saved my outputs. So every file that I make automatically goes to the outputs. You can also do this by changing the link down here, but I thought this was easier for show. And second, I make a variable that is a local equal to the current date. That means that every time that you re-estimate a file and you change something, you automatically create backups once you change this date here. So if you do something wrong by changing your files, you still have a backup because you haven't overwritten that file. This makes it very easy and efficient to perform regression analyses. So to do this, first you do a regression. Here we regress the weight of the car on the price of the car. The reasoning is simple. More weighty cars require more materials and therefore maybe more costly. And we find that that holds. And now I'm going to put that information into a text file. And that I use doing the outreg to command. So I use the outreg command, then using the name of the file, which includes the local here. And I replace the file if it already existed. This kills the old file, makes the new file, and as the first column of that file, puts in these regression results. Then I want to use the label of the variable, not the variable name, because this looks more fancy. And I'm going to add text. Here we have length control no. You could also call it something, 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 fixed effects, comma, no, or yes, for multiple specifications. I include everything rounded at three decimals and I want to keep the adjusted R squared and only retain the variable weight. Then subsequently I perform another regression and you have a similar piece of code but it's different in two things. First of all I add the append piece which means for the already existing column add this regression as one next to it but don't overwrite the old column. Then subsequently, I add the text because, yes, we now have the length, but I only keep the weight, so we won't see this part, but it is there correcting for the effects. So first it's 2, and then it becomes 4, after you correct for the length of the car. And then it saves everything to Excel and changes back to the old CD. And you can see after we go through our Excel that we have the variable label weight of the car, on price of the car with both regression coefficients, stars for their significance, standard errors, and also other observation, R squared, and the own text that we'd like to put here. So I hope this provides you a basic overview of how to export your results from regressions to Excel. You can also use this with tag if you just replace the Excel part at the end of the last line with TEX and it will make it a tech file. Thank you so much for listening and have a great day.